Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Cosmos Astro. So this is the well anticipated part three of my observatory build. So what am I actually going to be covering in this video? So basically all the framework uh, up to the basically top of the wall system. I'm going to be covering what materials I've used, um, how I've done things, why I've done things, etc. Highlight some of the mistakes that I made as well because I did make them along the way. And of course I'm going to include the costing of this part of the build and also the overall costing now if you are new to the channel or yeah haven't actually checked out uh, my other videos for this build i'll leave links in the description for them basically that is the name of the foundation for this structure um that'll include like key features that i put into it and also my proud peer build so if you're interested um be there waiting for you you can go check them out right let's get cracking I'm going to hand you over to my past self now to the day of the actual build and he is going to talk about the wood that we're using a uh, little tip that i had that helped uh, along the way and also talk about the um basically an initial plans before i actually constructed this so off to you past ben so first things first what have i actually bought wood wise well i've got a couple of off foot here so i'll run you through this stuff first um, so this is going to be the main bulk of the framing and it is 38 by 62 millimeters which is about two and a half by one and a half inches and I bought 36 2.4 meter lengths and now this is going to be eventually when I get the cladding that's basically what the cladding is going to be uh, fixed to this stuff is class 4 treated timber which means the uh, treatment is deep uh, within the wood which makes this uh, ideal for ground contact stuff so it's long-standing stuff I've bought some premium posts or beams whatever you want to call them uh, these are 90 millimeter by 90 millimeter so it's about a centimeter short of four inches but four three meter lengths and nine 2.4 meter lengths and this is going to be basic for the four corners the uh, top the observatory just for the roof and also for the runners i have cut a notch out in this post a little template and i'll run you through why i've done that and what i've got planned so just on the corner of the brickwork here now i'm a massive fan of doing templates like this and i do recommend doing it um you know a little extra work um, but in the end i think it's going to be less time consuming uh, to be honest um and it's going to keep you right as well so i'll just place that on the end of the brickwork there got one of the joists here and just line that up with the end of the post here and take the off cut on there so on the inside corner a nice finish um there is a bit of exposed brick and that's going to assist me when i put the floor in um eventually but on this side uh, it is overhanging and um, the brick about a couple of mil and if you can imagine I'll take this wood here, uh, it's the same thickness as the cladding that I'm going to be getting. Obviously, I'm not going to be using this, but if I just it'll give you an idea if I place this up against this. Now, as you see, there's a, a nice finish here, it's not poking out uh, past the post. And when I eventually get the decking, um, that's going to sit above the cladding line, so it's going to be an overall nice finish. Uh, and that's the idea behind it anyway and hopefully <laughs> it'll uh, work out all right my past ben sounded very enthusiastic to get cracking on now and don't you think so what i'm going to do now i'm going to uh, just ask you to just sit back and relax for a couple of minutes i'm going to do a bit of b-roll and time lapse footage for you uh, of me doing the build so hope you enjoy and i'll catch up with you in a bit and i'll take you through uh, what i've actually achieved <laughs>
right uh, show and tell time i think um and if i do say so myself this is really starting to look nice and starting to look the part um and i'm really impressed with what i actually achieved over the um, two days and may i add it was absolute glorious a uh, couple of days loads of sunshine really warm a bit too warm for work i think so where should we start uh i think the dog way now anyone who's regular to my channel and been following this build in particular may remember that i wanted my doorway here uh, facing out this way uh, next to the greenhouse however i decided to change that last minute and just put it there i thought it looked a bit better there um you know no reason why uh i was up and around whether to put a window in on this uh, wall next to the next to the door but um i opted not to um it's not a big issue if i want to do it in the future i think it'd be quite easy to actually um, do that and transform that but uh, for the time being uh, it's definitely not going to have any windows so what else have I done talk about these in a second uh, let's go through the doorway here so as you can see all the woods together uh, this screw that I used or type of screw that I used to put all this together it was one type of screw and it was uh, nothing special to like a, a Deccan screw uh, 75 mil um, I have used just over 250 of them babies. Uh, so the post uh, is secured to the framework um, and I haven't secured it at the bottom here at all. Um, it's just as per, like I showed you, it's just plonked on top of the brick and secured to the frame. Uh, of course I've put um, uh, the upright supports and noggins in. Uh, I'll talk about the noggins here. So I did initially sort of have uh, two and then one and two and so on and so forth uh but i had a lot of offputs as well so i just stuck them in where i wanted uh i mean there's i think there's only like two in there two in there and then the rest has got like three i did find the more and more I put in the more uh secure and you know more robust this become it was uh and to be fair the thing's solid uh it's yeah it's, it's pretty good uh, i've got some other extra support at the bottom i just want to thank my good astro buddy luke from luku matico he uh he gives a tip on his build uh he put these things in and ah they work to treat and um, give some great added uh support to be honest um so yeah happy with that and of course uh i've got the exposed brick there it's as per our planned and at the top i've got beam uh, running all the way around the top and over where the doorway is uh, this sort of is suspended actually it doesn't go onto this post it's uh, secured by two uh, quite robust brackets and yeah it's uh, I didn't want to sort of interfere with this sort of beam and this one uh, at all um, by cutting into it so I just left it like that and it, it's fine it's gonna It'd probably be even more supported once I put the door frame in. Um, so yeah, no issues there. Yeah, kids two bunch there. They were will help me uh, time to time. Just tend to uh, run away every time I put the uh, saw on. <laughs> All right, well let's talk about this uh, the support beam for the uh, roof and the runners. Uh, so this this isn't little fellow. So these aren't actually support uh screw down on yeah and if i just hold this if i lift this top beam up you'll see this this actually starts moving um so but well, just to spend like that it's uh, it's quite secure it's i mean it does wobble a little bit but um i'm going to cover this uh, i don't want to talk too much i want to cover it in my um roof building video that i'm going to do now i did screw up uh with this post and the other one actually uh, so I did cut them too short now I've just got away with this one and I did ask my uh, neighbour and local builder um, if it would be okay with just being only a foot into the ground and I'm going to encase it in concrete uh, just like you would with the fence post and he said it should be fine uh, he said it's a downward force not like a fence post where you know when you put on a fence you're going to have like sort of sideways force he said it'll be absolutely fine should get away with that now the other post and i'll tell you what i'll do i'll just reposition this camera i'm going to show you this uh, i really screwed up with this one uh it i cut it far too short and i tried to fix it um 
and it to be honest it fixed it really well i put this angle line on and kept it nice and straight really strong sort of sandwiched the uh an off cut post um together and yeah um it, absolutely brilliant however it's sitting far too high and um, by the time the decking comes in it's going to be about here and i'll just kind of uh, expose it'll absolutely wind me up uh, to be honest I, I was thinking of leaving it and maybe trying to hide it or something but uh, do you know what? i'm just going to bite the bullet and i'm going to buy a new beam uh no big issue i can i can use this um wood anyway for when i'm building the decking because uh, it's going to need some posts here and there anyway uh so i haven't really lost out any money you know but it is a little mistake you know and just something to watch out for you know the that's in uh, measure twice cut once so to say the uh, mistake number three which isn't a major issue where uh, it's uh, i've got toys everywhere yeah. it's the cross beam here um for some reason uh i don't know if i've under ordered or sort of cut something that i shouldn't have but you know, i was a three meter beam short uh so it's you know it's no issue i'm just gonna have to order that uh you know um before i can actually build this but yeah uh something to watch out for you know again uh, just maybe double check stuff um before you go ordering and also cutting <laughs> actually i'll just show you um what how this beam is actually suspended um like i said it's not actually secured at all it's uh free standing uh, it's just on top of this post here and it's just going to go in like that now these joints are not going to be noticeable once it's fully built because you can imagine the face is going to be actually covering this um i mean it'll be visible when you roll the roof off i suppose but um you know on a normal day you won't notice it and i'm gonna secure the end uh with coach uh screws um i think um because i don't want i'm not gonna go on too much about this because i don't want to ruin the actual video and, and do any spoilers or too many spoilers but uh, yeah that's the plan anyway all right the costing part of the video now uh, before i do disclose that one i i, I was thinking about this the other day and I've, I've obviously disclosed in the other videos the cost of stuff i do think it's really important to share that sort of thing you know it's going to help people um if if you are one of these people who's want to build something like this you, you may want to know how much it's roughly going to cost so that's the whole reason i've been sort of advertising um how much i'm spending on the on the build um, it's, I'm not trying to show off on that. I, I have not got a bottomless pit of money. Uh, I've had to put me in some, a lot of hours of overtime in to finance this build. And I, it's going to be at least another couple of months before I'm fully finished. Uh, well, not fully finished. It, uh, at least operational, ready for astro photography. There's a whole load more to do, you know, electrics and a bit more duct work and, and flooring and, and you know, other little things that i'm going to do uh so anyway yeah i thought i'd throw that out there so having said that uh this part of the build was in the region of 520 pounds and i'll add it on top of the uh 550 uh, it's just over a grand so far so by no stretch a budget build um it was never going to be a budget build to be honest now of course there's so many ways of doing these builds you know it's and it's all down to your personal preference what you want to build what's standard your budget or even just how much you're willing to fork out in general you know will dictate what what's going to happen isn't it um but by all means shop around you know um this place like facebook marketplace is a great place to find wood if you're lucky enough to find the wood that you want on there you know jump on that one definitely um because you can spend forever you know trying to shop around to get the best deal but at some point you've got to press that button uh, and get cracking you know uh, especially if you want to get moving you, you just you, sometimes you just gotta you know what that seems like a good deal let's take it so enough of me rabbiting on there uh, i hope this has helped in any way if you are sort of, uh, building your own observatory um i hope you found it interesting uh, again like i mentioned earlier if you are building yourself uh, please go and check out um either on the playlist under observatory build on my homepage on youtube or of course in the description i'll put the links for the videos in there so on that note wish everyone the very best please take care clear skies and of course until next time bye for now